Equipment Corporation, DEC, PDP-1, their very first computer. Many stories about this computer, not the least of which is why is it called a PDP? Well, one of the reasons it's called a PDP, or Programmable Data Processor, is at the time this computer was introduced, the United States government had put a moratorium on the purchase of new computers by many of their laboratories and universities supporting government work because computers were beginning to change and they wanted a chance to study that change before people bought a lot of new computers. For a brand new startup this was disaster until one of the original founders of the company had a brainstorm. He said we are not building computers, we are building data processors, programmable data processors. And by that simple descriptive change, they marketed them not as computers, but as programmable data processors. Many organizations purchased them and had them approved before other powers that be in the government realized what had happened. But by then, the computer revolution for smaller computers was well underway. This is a computer on which the first really satisfactory computer game was played. It was designed for this system called Space Wars. Many of the games today can trace their heritage directly back to a system that was played on a black and white round screen, had two spaceships with laser cannons. The object of the game was don't fly into the sun before you shoot down your opponent. What was the strategy? You had an Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta quadrant, fly off the screen, come behind your opponent, shoot them down. But the system, in addition to doing useful work of all kinds in laboratories, was also set up to play music. Many early enthusiasts figured out how to modify the system to play music, including Christmas sing-alongs at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California.